Mantle is not a piece of cloth. Mantle before the cross was a piece of cloth. That is a dimension of grace. Mantles before the cross were pieces of cloth, but after the cross is a dimension of grace. That should tell you that any preacher who is giving you a handkerchief in the name of a mantle is just practicing charismatic witchcraft on you. Apostle Richard starts us off by telling us what is a prophetic act. And here is how he puts it. Acts 19 verse 11. Now God walk unusual miracle by the hands of Paul so that even handkerchief or aprons were brought from his body to the sick and the disease left them and the evil spirit went out of them. Prophetic acts are not things that are repeated. Prophetic acts are things that the Holy Spirit does in an immediate present and it comes to an end at that point. The spirit of lawlessness that is governing most churches has stood on Acts 19 where God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick and the diseases left them and the evil spirits went out of them. They have used that to start what they call mantle services. They give you a handkerchief and call it a mantle. Sometimes the handkerchief has the picture of the bishop or prophet. Others give you a prayer tallet in the name of mantles. All that is charismatic manipulation and witchcraft. Apostle expounds more on exactly what was happening in the days of Apostle Paul and what are unusual miracles. The spirit of lawlessness has stood on this scripture to ask people to be buying handkerchief or prayer clothes and bring for prayers. That is the spirit of law. That is charismatic witchcraft. Because if you watch, when Paul, look at what happened. Paul was ministering in Ephesus. And if you look at it, the power of God broke. And the Bible says God worked on usual miracles. What are unusual miracles? Unusual miracles are not performed by the minister. Unusual miracles is when a preacher empowers the members to produce miracles themselves. That's unusual. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Unusual miracle is then when the blind see the lame walk. It is when, for instance, what happened in the crowd of the spirit? The lady who, the, the elderly woman who laid who lay hand on the dying child after I after speaking to me, she laid her hand on the dying child and the child lived. Another one read a text message I sent to her on her dying brother and the brother came back to life. So that, those are unusual miracles. They accompany apostolic ministries. So unusual miracle is not handkerchief being used to pray for people. And you could be asking yourself, Apostle, what did the Bible mean by aprons and handkerchiefs? If it worked for them, it means it can work for me, right? Apostle has a beautiful answer for you. What happened here? The word handkerchief is the word apron. What is an apron? Go and meet a cook who is wearing an apron. You will know what is an apron. An apron is not handkerchief. An apron, Paul was a tent builder. He was building tent. Though not full time, he was building tent. And that does not mean preachers should not be doing business. Paul was so disciplined, he would get to places that know nothing about giving. He would not ask them to give. He would take care of his needs so that he can minister to them without being a burden to them. That was the kind of thing he did. Within this place in Ephesus. So the apron was what he was using. Why it's like a, a cloth you wear when you are walking in the side. So the power break broke out. And because they could not bring the sick people to that place, they took that apron that he was wearing to sick people afar off and they placed it on them and they prayed for them and the people were healed. But here is the difference between what was happening in the days of Paul and our own days. Our greedy preachers have attached some money to the handkerchiefs and prayer clothes. Even worse, they have printed their photos on the handkerchiefs and made people worship them. Apostle has more for you. Watch this. There was no sowing of, of seed. There was no worship of Paul. There was no selling of the aprons. There was no printing of Paul's photograph and put on the aprons. There was no repetition of that. That's how you see it. It is only one place in the Bible. The spirit of lawlessness 
stood on this today in the church and we now have what they call mantle service in fact they are not even calling the apron they have moved from apron to handkerchiefs to mantles they call them mantle and we know mantle is not a piece of cloth mantle before the cross was a piece of piece of cloth that is a dimension of grace and here is the saddest part about charismatic witchcraft in church it will always find a scripture to use to blindfold people unfortunately a multitude of untaught christians will take it to be true because it is in the bible not knowing that their papa is just using the bible to manipulate them but any miracle that is not promoting christ in people's heart is from the antichrist People who practice witchcraft will always find a scripture to attach their works in. But here is this. Any miracle that does not form Christ in people is from the demon of deliverance. Any miracle with handkerchief that they call aprons that promotes the preacher is not promoting Christ. It's not of God. What Apostle Paul did was an impromptu action from the Holy Spirit. He never started a mantle service. Neither did he gather many handkerchiefs and lay hands on them and started selling or distributing to the people. People took aprons from him. He never initiated the action. That's why Apostle refers to it as a prophetic act which should never be repeated or be the foundation of the doctrine of mantles. No apostle used apron. Even Paul himself never used it. The Bible says people took it from him. He didn't gather a piece of cloth and now lay hand and say, these are aprons, take it and go. So that, this is a prophetic act. It is an impromptu action of the spirit. That is not a doctrine. That should not be repeated. That should not become a practice. If it becomes a practice, it's not demonic. It's no longer divine when it becomes a practice. Apostle gives us a snippet of the Bible sense of a prophetic act which neutralizes this dark practice of giving handkerchiefs as mantles. Besides, he gives us an example of when a prophetic act becomes prophetic witchcraft. Listen to how he puts it. Bible says of prophetic acts, they don't negate the overall principle of scriptures. There are not things you repeat there are not things you continue doing. Secondly, there are not things that the voice of God initiate. If you look at it, the miracles, is it God's voice that initiated it? Did God tell Paul, now carry apron and take it to the sick? No. It's not what the voice of God initiated. This is where it is very, very dangerous. It is what the anointing on a preacher initiates. And it is not to be repeated. Because it is to take off a need instantly and you shut it down. Look at what happened to me. The last time, the last, one of the major seasons I've preached in Nigeria from, from Kenya here. They gave me water to drink after I finished preaching. The poor God broke out. There were a lot of miracles. So when I sat on the chair, they gave me water to drink and I drank in a bottle. I couldn't finish it. So I dropped some potion. A girl came and sneaked and took it. We didn't see her and took it to her mother that was sick in the house. The mother could not come. He gave the woman to drink and the woman was healed. Now, that's a prophetic act. If, look at where lawlessness will have come in. We listen to her testimony. If I have not said, now, bring water, let me drink. They bring, and I drink a little, take, go and give people to, to be healed. That now becomes Nehushtan. It becomes demonic, becomes charismatic witchcraft. The girl took the water I didn't know. She went and gave her mother, her mother drank, and her mother was here. That is she and her mother. If I had come to now build a ministry around it, it becomes lawlessness. It becomes prophetic witchcraft, not prophetic acts. If you have been buying or receiving pieces of clothes or handkerchiefs from your pastor or bishop in the name of mantles, you guys have been practicing charismatic witchcraft. If you got any miracle from using the handkerchief or cloth, know that you just received a miracle from the demon of deliverance. If you are wondering how miracles from the demon of deliverance look like, watch the video in the end screen. Thanks for watching.